All right, here we go. This is a video here. We got out with the, this is yesterday about the uh, Cannondale, Cannondale riders, EF Cannondale JB team. We have uh, some of the riders here all over the globe, and uh, just out for this was a 105 kilometer spin. Did the entire loop with them, and uh, we're just cruising along. Norton Summits in I think 16 or so minutes. So just cruising along tempo. Now the question is, what bike? What bike should you get? What's the best bike to get? You know, and the answer to that is depends on what sort of riding you do. What sort of riding do you do? What sort of riding do you do? Are you wanting to get fit? Are you wanting to lose weight? Are you wanting to be a bicycle commuter? What are you What are you trying to do? Do you want to be a bike racer? To be honest, if if I had to buy one bike for my life, just just one bike, I would get a lightweight road racing bike that's what if i had to just choose between one bike for the rest of my life let's just say i had a thousand dollars to spend all right and i could only have one bike for the rest of my life what would i get it would be hands down a lightweight sub seven kilo carbon fiber road bike that's what i would get because those bikes they just ride so nice and it would be lighter than these, these are world tour bikes that'd be lighter than what these guys are riding today um and so that's i would that's what i would get i would go out and buy a trek uh you know an amondo maybe if you get an amondo or probably wouldn't be getting a mondo for a thousand bucks because they're a bit more new I'd, you get like an older madone 6.9 ssl you get on those for under a thousand bucks you could get with shram red i would get a specialized tarmac s works SL3, SL1, SL2, SL4, SRAM Red, under a thousand bucks. I would get a Cannondale Super 6. Actually, maybe, yeah, I mean, I would, but the BB30 bottom bracket can be a bit of an issue, some of them. So, or I'd get a, maybe even a giant TCR, Jure SRAM Red, under a thousand bucks. What else would I get? Uh, a Canyon Ultimate, under a thousand bucks. Trekamonda ALR, if you want a bit of alloy. Under a thousand bucks, get one of those. And we, we're looking for mint condition, you know, purchased off a barrister, a surgeon, a lawyer, a doctor, any of these people who learn, you know, large disposable incomes and uh, don't really ride that much because they're sort of a bit time crunch. They generally have really well maintained bikes. So that's what I'd, that's what I'd, that's what I would do. I would recommend doing that. And because a lightweight road bike, you can see here the guy on the left. He is uh, about 17, and he's, this guy was pretty good. He kept up on the... Actually, no, we did drop him on the hills. But on the downhills, he kept up really well. We did drop him on the hill, though. We, we hit a hill called Torrance Hill, and he, he did get dropped. But he's on a lightweight carbon Bianchi, and uh, that's just the sort of bike that gets you really fit. You know, and the guy's over 17, so he'll get fitter as and stronger as he gets older. But it's just an example that... You know, this kid here on the left in the aqua bike, I can't really see it. I'm on Lachlan Morton's right hand side. But you know, that that's that's the bike that's gonna let you do whatever you want to do basically. You know, you can get disc brakes and stuff like that, and that's good for the wet stuff, but really you can't go past a lightweight carbon or lightweight alloy road bike around that seven kilo mark, under seven kilos, the magic seven. It just they just feel nice and you wanna ride them all day. And they just, they work, it's no disc brake, disc brakes are more maintenance, etc. More weight, more noise, blah, 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 more expense. But under a thousand bucks, that's what I would get. That's what I would recommend. Under a thousand bucks. A super lightweight alloy or carbon fiber bike, as I mentioned. If you want more information, get a copy of my ebook. It's got a bike buyer's guide in there for more detailed stuff. It's called Dune Riders Lean Body Bible. We've got more turn down the videos coming. And uh, let's rip it up. What a great day. Thanks to the uh, EF guys for being a really friendly bunch of guys. It's a great day out. Peace. Got any questions down below? Hit us up. See you on the road.